I kind of missed the original version. Oh man, I'm stressed out, guys. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow. One of my favorite re recordings of this album. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexa. Today is a very special day. Today we are getting Speak Now, Taylor's version. It's already technically out. It's 11.04 p.m. my time, which means that it was out four minutes ago. I'm so, so, so excited to be checking it out with you guys tonight. I, I feel like I need to preface this with a lot of things, so bear with me for like two minutes before we get into this reaction. This video is going to be the reaction to the main album, the re-recorded portion, and then I will also be uploading a video very shortly that will be just for the vault tracks, but I quickly want to talk about Speak Now, my thoughts on Speak Now, um, just really, really quickly. So I was never a Speak Now girly, and I wanted to be so bad. I, I still want to be kind of because I think they're the best. Um, when I look at the songs individually, I love this album. Like I love mine. I love Sparks Fly. I love Last Kiss. I love Haunted. I love all the songs as individuals, but for some reason this album, when I stack it up to other albums that I love, it comes in the bottom five for me of her 10 albums. Um, however, do I think it's amazing? Absolutely yes. But I also just wanted to mention that I still very, very, very clearly remember when Speak Now came out and I wanted to put this in here in case I ever rewatch this video just so I can like stir up this memory. But I really do remember when it came out, I believe it came out in 2010. I don't remember what year I was in school. Maybe I was in middle school or something or maybe early high school. And I remember very clearly waking up that day. I didn't stay up late because it must have been a school night or something. And I listened to it in the bathroom while I did my hair in the morning before school. And I remember it very clearly, especially Mean. Like, I feel like when Mean came on, I feel like that was the one that I really remember very clearly while I was doing my hair. And I was like, oh, interesting. Like, this is the vibe. This is Taylor's new vibe. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Um, another thing before we get into the reaction, this full reaction will be on my Patreon. It will be fully uncut, edited, but very lightly um, on my Patreon. And also I wanted to mention that I have a lot of Taylor Swift reactions. They're all compiled in a Taylor Swift playlist, so I'm gonna put it down below. But quickly I wanted to touch on what reactions are down there, I guess. Um, the first one is from Lover. It's from way before I ever had a reactions channel. Um, so we have Lover, we have a Folklore reaction, we have Evermore reaction, we have Midnight's, we have Fearless Taylor's version and Red Taylor's version. All of them except for Midnight's were recorded before I ever had a reactions channel, so they're not nearly as... Um, good, I guess, as I would edit it now, um, but they still are really, really good. So I highly recommend if you watch this video, if you're also a Swifty and you want to see more of my reactions, look down below because I have a lot of them in a playlist. So go check that out. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're still, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Okay, let's start with mine. <laughs> mine Taylor's version, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Sounding very similar so far. You were in college working part time, waiting tables, left a small town, never looked back. Oh, it sounds different. I was a risk with a fear of falling, wondering why we bother with love if it never lasts. I said, Can you believe it? I'm about to cry, y'all. I can't do it, I can't do it. The thing that gets me is that like Taylor was still in her country accent era when Speak Now came out. So she was like, we were in college working part time. Like it wasn't that bad, but you know what I mean. And so that part sounds so different. I just, I, I want to go back just a little bit. Tables, left a small town, never looked back. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, 
Stop. Oh my god, I'm gonna say this so many times. Oh, it's so good. Oh, different. Uh, it sounds different and the same all at the same time. Ooh, that crying. Very different. Wow. Man, oh man, guys. I think one thing that you'll hear a lot in this reaction is that like either, oh my god, it sounds different, or it's the same but different. Just because it's, it's like a shock to the system, you know? Like you've heard the same song probably like a million times in your life and, you know, to hear it again, but a different version of it, an older version of it, um, where her voice is more mature and fully formed. It's just like, ah, hyperventilating. Okay, we're gonna go to Sparks Fly. Sparks Fly is probably my favorite on this album, so I'm very excited for Sparks Fly. Sounding pretty, pretty familiar. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, I kind of missed the original version. Is it bad to say that? We'll keep going. We'll keep going. There's something that's so iconic about the youth in her voice in this song and like the emotion. It's different. It's different. We're going to keep going. We're gonna, I, I have an un, unnatural attachment to this song, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Okay, you know, I might be on something, I don't know. Really something if I know even better than you Imagine that would be I'm on my guard for the rest of the world But with you, I know it's no good Meet me in the pouring rain Kiss me on the side, oh, take away the pain Cause I see Down, baby, 
Oh, this is such a head bopping song. Interesting. Okay, it redeemed itself a little bit. In the middle there, I was like, oh, I miss the youth of it. And I do miss the youth of it. However, still very good. It's a very good rendition of the song. I approve. I'm just very like, I don't want to say territorial over that song, but that song is my song, okay? <laughs> the next song is Back to December, Taylor's version. Oh man. Time to see me. How's life? Tell me, how's your family? I haven't seen them in a while. Oh, I really like this version. Yes. It's just the way she's singing it. I can't explain. I really like it though. I miss your dancing, your sweet smiles, both good to me. So right. And now you Oh, I just love the way she's singing this. First time you ever saw me Maybe this is wishful thinking Probably mindless dreaming But if we loved again I swear I'd love you right But this is me swallowing my pride Standing in front of you Saying I'm sorry for that night And I go back to December Ooh, I love that one. Honestly, such an underrated song. And, you know, like I really like that version of it, that rendition of it, that whatever. I love Taylor's version. I really do. There's nothing wrong with the original. I like the original a lot too, but something about it, like the moments where her voice was just slightly different, for some reason made the difference in that song. The next one we're gonna go to is Speak Now. Obviously not one of my favorites. I don't know how many people who it is one of their favorites, but I'm very interested to see the vocal growth on this one. Let's do it. Ooh, the guitar sounds nice. I am not the kind of girl who should be rudely barging in on a white veil occasion, but you I'm not the kind of boy who should be marrying Her voice sounds so much stronger. You can definitely hear her maturity. It seems that I was uninvited by a lovely bride to be. She thoughts down the aisle. You know, although the song isn't one of my favorites, it definitely has an offensive melody. No, you wish it was me. You wish it was me, don't you? Do you hear the you wish it was me? You wish it was me, don't you? Like the way she said wish. You wish it was me. You wish it was me. Oh, I love that. I'm only looking at you. 
lap looks good. The lap looks good. Uh, you could really, I feel like that song specifically, you could really hear her vocal maturity in. I have to quickly change my camera battery because it's about to die. Hold on. All right, we're back. Let's continue on. I feel like Speak Now in particular, because it's also so stripped back, I feel like you could just really tell how much her voice has matured. Next, we're going to get into Dear John. Definitely one of my favorites on this album. And one of the ones that I've been most excited to hear her version of. I also want to say I never realized that this song is almost seven minutes long. That's shocking that it's that long. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. I'm very excited, as you can tell. Well, you know the intro is pretty long as well. Oh man, I'm stressed out, guys. Oh, I love this song. Ah. Oh. Longer than nights when my days once revolved around you. Counting my footsteps. Oh, that fine was so good. Oh yes, I was wondering about the you can, and she killed it. Don't you think I was too young to be messed with? The girl in the dress, cry the whole way home. Oh, dear John, I should love. Oh, the emotion is there. Oh God, I'm nervous. Wow, this is so good, so good. Don't you think I was too young to be met with the girl in the dress wrote you a song you should have known. Man, that song hit so hard. There were definitely some like moments where you could just hear the difference in her voice. But 
Oh, great version of it. I highly approve. The next song is Mean. I'm curious if she brings back the country accent because this one is heavily country accented. And I'd be surprised if she stuck with her normal accent because it would kind of throw off the song, I feel like, maybe? I don't know. Let's, let's listen to it. You, with your words like knives and swords and weapons that you use against me, you have knocked me off my feet again, got me feeling like another mm, thing. You, interesting. With your voice like nails on a chalkboard, calling me out when I'm wounded, you picking on the weaker man. I shoot down, no, and shoot down, no. You know it's subtle, but it's there. I can hear it deep down. I feel like the production is slightly different. Am I wrong? Ooh. Oh, I kind of missed the accent. Am I wrong for that? Ever gonna be is me. Nobody's listening. Washed up and ranting about the same old bitter things. Drunk and grumbling all about how I can't see. But all you are is me. Be so you know, it was good. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a hater, but I'm not a hater. But I do miss the accent just a little bit. There are some songs where losing the accent really doesn't affect my feelings on the song. Like mine, for example. Like losing any sort of like inclination of a country accent really doesn't bother me it does not bother me at all but there's songs like mean where the accent is half the song you know like the song is good but like the accent helps make the song better and without it it feels kind of wrong it's there but it's not there like the song leads you to feeling a little bit country-ish but it just isn't the same i hate to be a hater i promise i'm not a hater please don't leave hate comments for me you know, I just love the mean accent. I really do. Okay, we're gonna go to the next song. The next song is The Story of Us. This is a song that I've never actually really loved, but maybe this new version will bring love for me, you know? Let's listen to it. Ooh, different. We met and the sparks flew instantly And people would say they're the lucky ones I used to know my place was the spot next to you Now I'm searching the room for an empty seat Cause lately I don't even know what page you're on mm. So many walls up, I can't break The way she said next chapter. Oh, I'm scared to see the ending. Why are we pretending this is nothing? I tell you I miss you, but I don't know how. I've never heard silence quite this loud. Now I'm standing alone in a crowded room and we're not speaking. 
And I'm dying to know if you're killing your life It's killing me, yeah She really was like, well, in her like musical interlude era of life during Speak Now. This is looking like a contest. Who oh, can act like they care less? But Ooh. I liked it better when you are on my side. Say you'd rather love than I love the way she's like lifting the notes, if that makes sense. Oh, yes. Does it always say that? See, this proves that I don't know this song very well. The end. Oh, very good. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Oh, the next song is Never Grow Up. Honestly, I'm not a Never Grow Up stan. Like, I really... It's not one that I go back to often, but this was the one, or I can't say the one, but this is one of the ones that I was really excited for personally because it's a song about growing up and it's so stripped back that I thought that A, we'd be able to hear her vocal maturity, but B, to sing this when she is 32, 33, you know, I just really wanted to hear this version of it. So I'm really excited about this one. And now I feel like I might get emotional because this song makes me emotional. And now that I have a child, it makes me more emotional. So <laughs> watch out, world. <laughs> Emotions coming in hot. Your little hands wrapped around my finger and it's so quiet in the world tonight. Ah, I shouldn't drink wine either. It makes me cry. So I tuck you in, turn on your favorite night light. I give all I have, honey. If you could stay like that. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up. Don't you ever grow up. Just stay this little. Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up. Don't you ever I love it. I love it. This simple. I won't let nobody hurt you. Won't let no one break your heart. I love it. I love it. Take pictures in your mind of your childhood room. Memorize what it sounded like when your dad gets home. Remember the footsteps. Remember the words said and all your little brother's favorite songs. Ah. Uh. I just realized everything I have is someday gonna be gone. So here I am in my new apartment in a big city. They just dropped me off. It's so much colder than I thought it would be. So I tuck myself in and turn my night light on. And even though you want to, please try to never go. One of my favorites, not my favorite off the album, obviously, but one of my favorite re-recordings of this album. I don't have words right now. I really don't. It was, it was so good. Next song, Enchanted. All right, Enchanted. I believe I've heard clips of this one. I might be wrong. <sighs> I love this song. I feel like I've always loved this song, but something about seeing it live made it so much better. Oh. 
love I wonder till I'm wide awake Just little differences, but it's so good. Fantastic. Loved it. 10 out of 10. Next is... Now go stand in the corner and think about what you did. I can't do it yet. Ah! This is another one that I was really, really excited for. I hate to admit this to you guys. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. I am a better than revenge stan. I'm very scared. I'm very scared right now. I will try not to look at the lyrics on the screen. Let's do it. I was really scared she wouldn't put this back on the album because there was a little bit of controversy. Now go stand in the corner and think about what you did. Okay. Time for a little revenge. Okay. What just happened? She's not a saint and she's not what you think. She's an actress. She's better. That's not the words that just happened. It's not she's better known for the things she, that she does on the mattress. What, what just happened? He was a moth to the flame. She was holding the matches. Whoa. She changed the lyrics. I have so many feelings I don't even know what's happening. I'm gonna listen to it again. I The thing is, I don't hate it. I'm just shocked a little bit. I, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. Interesting. I don't hate it. I don't. I'm shocked, but I don't hate it. She thinks I'm psycho because I like to rub her name with things. Sophistication isn't what you wear or who you know. I'll push a people down to get you where you want to go. They even teach you that it's prep school, so it's up to me. I hear all the differences. I kind of like it. The more I hear it, the more I like it, honestly. It's weird, but it's weird that it's different. 
It's really interesting. I'm glad on one hand that she changed the lyrics because it definitely was a little bit controversial. And I thought I really wouldn't like it if she changed the lyrics, but I like that matches and mattress sound very similar. So it doesn't feel like it's as big of a change as it could be, if that makes sense. So I respect it. I respect it. Next is Innocent. This one is really interesting, knowing it's about Kanye, knowing what we know now about Kanye. But here we are. Let's listen to it. I'm actually really interested to hear the vocals on this one. I guess you really did it this time. Left yourself in your pot. Wasn't it easier in your lunchbox day? Always a bigger bed to crawl into Wasn't it beautiful when you believed in everything And everybody believed in you mm. It's alright, just wait and see your String of lights is still bright to me Oh, who you are is not what To embers, you'll have new September's. Every one of us has messed up too. Ooh, life's change like the weather. I hope you remember today is never too late to be brave. Mm. Your balance on a tight road. Oh, it's never too late to get by. Good, liked it, approve. All right, I'm gonna quickly change my camera battery because believe it or not, it's dying again. <laughs> All right, we're back, and next is haunted. Feels like there's more echo. There's like little word changes, I feel like. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. From everything we had, but I still mean every word I said to you. Are the drums different? The piano feels like it's like closer. I 
so many mixed emotions right now. <sighs> Interesting. Interesting. This one... Okay, this one I really do feel like there were things that were different production-wise. Like, and I can't tell if it's just because I'm hearing it or if because I'm noticing that it's different. I felt like the drums were different. The piano, when it came in, was different. Like, I felt like, although it sounded similar, it was different. And I also feel like her voice had a lot of, like, echo on it, which was unexpected. However, that's on one hand, different. On the other hand, I feel like she's saying it with, like, a lot of emotion. So it's like a mixed bag, you know? Like, I don't feel like positively or negatively about it but I do think it's something that I will definitely get used to and I will end up liking in the future but it's just interesting because like at first I was like this sounds different <laughs> production feels different for some reason the next song is last kiss one of my favorite let's listen to it Darkness at 158. The words that you whispered for just us to know. You told me you loved me, so why did you go? Oh, that July night could be your heart. It jumps through your shirt. I can still feel your arms, but now I'll go. Sit on the floor wearing your clothes All that I know is I don't know How to be something we Oh, this is so good I never thought we'd ever last Kiss mm -hmm. This is the part I'm really excited for i back you up Oh, the emotion. With my old friends, just to ask them how you are. Hope it's nice where you are. And I hope the sun shines and it's a beautiful day. And something reminds you, you wish you had stayed. You can plan for a change in the weather and time. But I never planned on you changing your mind. So, no breath. Sit on the floor wearing your Interesting. clothes. All that I know is I don't. How to be something you miss Just like our last mm. You know, I feel like the shaky breath Wasn't there for me However, the rest of the song totally was And I highly approve Very good, loved it This is the last song on the main album Long Live One of my favorites, of course, duh I'm really excited to hear this one, especially like this must be such a nostalgic song for her too, thinking that she had lived, she had done it basically, she'd done it all. Little did she know how famous and how popular she would be. But at this time, this was her I made it moment, the fearless tour. Leading into speak down. Hands, the crowds in stands went wild. Ooh. We were the kings and the queens. Hmm. I love this song. <laughs> like a hero on a history book page. It was the end of a decade. 
the start of age. We remembered oh, when they gave us our trophies and we held them up for our town. And the cynics were outraged, screaming, This is absurd. Oh, I love that. Take a moment, promise me this, that you'll stand by me forever, but if God forbid fate should step in, and force us into a goodbye, if you have children someday, when they point to the pictures Please tell my name Tell them how the crowds went wild Tell them how the whole they shine No the walls we crashed through I had the time of my life With you It's different, but it's still good. Okay, that's the last of the original album, minus the bonus tracks. The first bonus track off this original album was ours. Let's listen to it. Oh my god, it sounds identical. Seems like there's always someone who disapproves. They'll judge it like they know about me and you. So don't you worry your pretty little mind. People draw out you things that shine and light. Makes love look high. The stakes are high. The waters are rough. But this love is ours. And it's not theirs to speculate if it's wrong. And your hands are tough, but they are where mine belongs. My husband's home. I'm going to let him in. Those were my words. She quoted you. Look at his hat. Let's listen. I love the gap between your teeth. And Come on, Taylor. I love the riddles that you speak. All right, sorry for that brief interlude. Now let's go on to Superman. Superman is a song that I've never really loved, but maybe this version will change my mind. You never know. Honestly, sounds very similar so far. I don't know this one very well. Tall, dark, and Superman. He puts papers in his briefcase and jabs away to save the world or go to work. It's the same thing in me. He's got his mother's eyes, his father's ambition. I wonder if he knows how much that I miss him. Not gonna lie, the melody probably did.
come back down. I have 34 minutes left of recording time, so let's hope that's enough time. I just feel like the lyrics aren't quite there for me with this song. I love the melody though, I'm realizing that. Honestly, that version made me realize that that melody is very offensive. It's more so just like the lyrics for me. I'm not a Superman girl, I guess. I just, it's not my thing. But that is the end of the regular album. I will be doing a separate video just for the vault tracks that will be coming out very soon. So definitely check that out. Overall, final thoughts, obviously different. There are times where I missed her more youthful, country-sounding accent, I guess, and just voice. However, overall, I would say it's, you know, Taylor can't do any wrong. Like, there's no way she can ever do wrong. And honestly, like, for example, like on TikTok, I saw a video that was comparing, like, Fearless with the new recording, and the difference is insane. Um, just in her vocal ability and like it's just so different and and I think with Speak Now it'll be very similar where I listen to this version enough that this is the version that I remember. I, I think the biggest loss for me is Mean um, just because the country accent makes that song. However, most of the songs, like 90% of the songs, just as good if not better just because her vocals are completely there and adult vocals. So that is my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because the vault track video will be coming out very soon. See you guys soon. Bye!